First to cover breaking news with Jennifer Copeland and Rick Schott. Your accurate first alert weather forecast with meteorologist Abby Wepler. You're watching WSBT 22 News at 5. Planning a healthy diet, it's not always easy. Everyone is unique with individual eating patterns and preferences. But to lose weight and maintain a healthy lifestyle, there are certain key factors to consider. Tonight, we take a closer look in Eye on Health. Jennifer Anglin of Goshen experienced a big weight gain, 100 pounds in just a year. It was a struggle. It was not fun. Um, I was not happy. Um, it was very, it was a depressing time. The added weight brought upon health problems, her liver, cholesterol levels, thyroid, and blood pressure. Oh, Jennifer made a lifestyle change and went to see Sandy Morris, clinical nutrition manager at IU Health Goshen Hospital. She put together a eating plan for me, which has been um, one of the easiest things I have done. In Jennifer's case, it was cutting out breads, pastas, rice, and pop, and instead eating lean meats, fruits, and vegetables. It helps lower blood pressure whether or not you lose weight. It helps lower your cholesterol. It helps prevent heart disease, diabetes, cancer. It helps with weight management because it's very filling if you get in those fruits and vegetables. Using Morris's plan, Jennifer has now lost 86 pounds. My mood has improved. I'm always, you know, I'm much more upbeat now. I'm much happier now. I'm able to look forward to going to bike rides and walks and where the past few years it's been a struggle. Sandy Morris says balance is one of the keys. Balanced meals all day full of protein, fruits and vegetables. And don't try for big weight loss right away. A half to two pounds a week is what you want. Some people are frustrated and thinking that's too slow, but really that's a good successful rate of weight loss and something that people can keep up with long term. Um, but it's not impossible. It's not that difficult. It's not expensive. Um, it's just what you do. And Sandy Morris of IU Health Goshen also says one of the big complaints she hears is that fruits and vegetables are too expensive. She says canned and frozen fruits are just as good and can cost less than a dollar.